A lot of times when I get asked questions about the season as a whole, this isn't just a cliche. I, I really don't look much past the next day, really. But I try to keep my composure on the bench and I try to keep my composure in the locker room. Show belief in the group. As a coach, one of the most important things you can do is to continue to show belief in your team. Coach, you are a Duluth native where you can watch hockey, you can play hockey, indoors, outdoors. There's a long list of outdoor rinks. Did you ever take advantage of those growing up as a kid? It's funny, as a kid, I'd put skate guards on and, and walk across the street, go to the rink, take them off, and we'd be at the rink all day, hunting for pucks in snowbanks when you shot it over the boards, pick up games with your buddies. Just being at the rink pretty much every day is how I grew up. You chose to play your college hockey with the UMD Bulldogs in your hometown. What influenced that decision to stay in Duluth? Was mom's cooking really that good? Uh, no, well, yes, my mom's cooking was that good. And all these guys that kind of uh, put the program on the map. Well, my dad played there a little bit, my uncle played there. I was a little kid growing up watching those guys. For me, it was something I always wanted to do was to stay stay there and play. After your playing career was finished, then you coached for your alma mater with the Bulldogs and a quick stint with the Ohio State University Buckeyes. What learning and growing did you take from that and that you brought here into this program? The one thing about coaching and playing is you learn from everywhere you've been. You learn from different coaches that you played for, different coaches that you coached with. You're kind of putting your own style together. And most importantly, you take what matches you and your personality and how you communicate and you build your own brand as a coach. I know I'm 51, I'm getting up there a little bit, but uh, I feel like I'm, I'm continuing to learn and, and grow as a coach every year. How would you describe your brand and your style you've kind of cultivated and put together? I remember my first meeting here in St. Cloud when I took the job in this locker room. It was the first time I met the, the entire team. And on purpose, when I spoke to them, I sat down. I was seated with the team. I wanted to show them, hey, I'm in it with you guys. We're gonna love winning together. We're gonna hate losing together. Uh, but, but no matter what, we're all in this thing together. Coaching is not your typical nine to five job. It takes sacrifice, not only from yourself, but you have waiting for you back at home. How do you balance that in your family time? It is a constant balancing act. Sometimes I'm better at it than others, but luckily I have a great family at home that are, understands and, and they're in it with me. Sometimes during the winter, you're around your, your staff more than you're around your family. We put our heart and soul into this thing. What's really important is when you do get some time that you spend it at home, you spend it with the family. You know, I'm lucky this week I'll be able to get to a couple of my son's games. Two kids at home. And it's almost like you have 27 here at the rink. Do you take some of those traits and attributes you have as a father and bring them back with your guys here? I don't think you could help it. What the fans don't see is we go through a lot of personal things together. It's a, a part of their life where they're growing into young men. Things may be happening at home with family. We're all in this together, and that's not just the wins and losses. We're, we're in this life together. You end up loving these guys like they're your own kids. I think that's the most important thing for me.